What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Entropy Studios. I'm going to do a quick video showcasing the Shadow Application's ability when it comes to running Grand Theft Auto 5. So, we went ahead and everything's maxed out on Grand Theft Auto 5. We got it downloaded to our Shadow. So we're going to open her up real quick and I'm going to play a couple minutes of Grand Theft Auto 5 so you guys can see what she looks like. Tab over to our Shadow. Put her in full screen. Launch Grand Theft Auto 5, and we'll just go ahead and play for a few minutes. Uh, shoot some people, drive around, see how she runs. Any day now, she'll. We'll go ahead and load. I'm sure. I can I can trust. I trust her. So, I think I, I'm gonna run a benchmark, because this game does have a benchmark in it. So we'll just run a benchmark real quick, see what we we'll, what we get. So, go to settings, go to graphics, we'll run the benchmark test. Uh, sure, we'll reboot. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be at my 144 hertz as far as what it's capable of putting out frames maxed out. I do have everything on and set to a very higher ultra. Running at 1080p, 144 hertz. Looks like we're actually in the 60s. Sixties, seventy. So we're going to end the benchmarks there. Um, let's just turn it down a little bit and we'll run the benchmarks again and see what we get. Full screen, auto, it's one, off, off. Let's 
turn out the high. 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 Very high. 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 Very high. Um, let's go ahead and apply changes. We'll restart and then we'll run a benchmark. <coughs> Just to make sure that it goes into effect. I can't remember if uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 benchmarks when you run them if it's before you apply the settings or after. So we'll just apply them just to make sure and then we'll run a benchmark. And then we'll play. I promise we'll play just a few just a few minutes though, because this is eating up a lot of time. But this is the kind of stuff I know most people want to see is what this is actually capable of as far as numbers go. Now we gotta turn down to the next highest settings available. Can't really do the highest settings uh, at full HD at 144 hertz. It's only gonna hit 60 to 80. So let's see what we get this time. Let's see if we can get in the hundreds now. You know, I'm I'm kind of skeptical as far as like what it will be able to do at 4K when I try it on the 4K tomorrow with the shields. Um, I think what I'm going to end up doing, yeah, this is even worse. I think what I'm going to end up doing is doing like a side by side with GeForce Now and Shadow since they're both on my Nvidia shields, so we'll be able to see like what's really ideal. When you do like an apples to apples gaming comparison between the two on a on a TV, because the GeForce Now works pretty pretty well. It's a little clunky in some games. Like it, Fortnite is one runs way better on the Shadow than GeForce Now, but some other games I don't know. It runs pretty smooth on GeForce Now. like in the high 60s to high 80s. But we'll go ahead and just play a little bit and see what it looks like. For those of you just wanting to see gameplay, thank you for your patience. I'm sure if I 
<coughs> tweaked with the graphical settings a little bit better. We could really optimize it for the, the shadow, but this is just kind of like an out, we'll just do like an out of the box view of what how it looks. Because I'm sure out of the box, for most people, this is a lot better if you're on a phone or some old five or six year old PC or a, a, a MacBook. Uh. looks really good again there's no delay there's no I don't feel like there's a very really any latency no judder on the p image shoot some people kill some baddies from the coppers. the do all right we'll try one more rampage with our our pistol but it, it runs really smooth this is definitely a step up from my 1060 on my uh, local PC so you really can't complain too much when you're coming from that and I can still record like I am right now and play the game at the same time without my computer crashing which my i5 4460 can't handle. So that's an improvement. But this is really smooth. There's I can not tell a difference as far as like response time because that's the number one thing people are worried about with this streaming concept with gaming is that there's going to be too much latency. I mean, granted, I do have 300 megabytes. I have gigabyte internet, so I'm getting 500 megabytes to gigabit uh, download speed locally. But, you know, I, I'm in Michigan away from the data center, so I can only imagine when the Chicago data center opens and I have my uh, shadow in a legitimate server room. No lag. I mean, no lag at all. Steal some of her money. Oh man. Did it again.
Oh, they caught me. Alright guys, this is uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Shadow. I hope you enjoyed, we're going to call it a night. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do <coughs> a video with using the Shadow on the NVIDIA Shield, and I'll show how to set that up with Shadow Beyond. I have it set up right now, but I'll just do a walkthrough on that tomorrow, and then we'll also just play a couple games and do a couple videos on the Shield, and then hopefully we'll do a comparison video. I'll take some video of what Grand Theft Auto 5 looks like playing out on GeForce Now, which comes with the NVIDIA Shield, and then I'll load up the Shadow application on the NVIDIA Shield and play Grand Theft Auto 5 on there, and we'll see an apples to apples as far as like what looks better, plays better, smoother, latency, all that stuff, so stay tuned for that, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. So, again, comment, like, subscribe, just tell me whatever games you want me to play. I'll download them if I don't already have them, and we'll check, check them out. Because I know there's a lot, of, a lot of games out there people are wanting to use the service to play because they can't play it right now on their PC. So, just let me know whatever you're trying to play, and I'll, I'll get it, and we'll see if it works. Alright, have a good night, guys.